Greetings. Today we're going to have a lot of fun with transcribing. We're going to transcribe one of the licks from Phil Woods in your own sweet way. <music> Phil Woods, amazing world-class soloist on the alto and also clarinet. Um, clinician, uh, fantastic artist. One of my favorite guys. Boy, his concept is wonderful. And he has, in this tune, in your own sweet way, uh, played one of the coolest little bop licks in the world. I've prepared for this by listening to this track a million times. Now, you go listen to that a million times. Okay, I know the picture's a little scary with the dog and the fireplace and the... Okay, yeah, well, let's not look at it. and Just play it in the background, listen to it for two and a half weeks, and then get back to me, okay? Ready? I'll wait here. Ready? Go. Okay, welcome back. I'm glad you have that solo memorized. Now, I did my homework and I got the chord sheet and I know that the place where I am interested in transcribing the chord changes are F minor 7, B flat 7, E flat major 7, and A flat major 7. It's at 2 minutes and 26 seconds. Let's listen to this little 251. It sounds like this. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I want to listen again. Oh, Navbar, why do you plague me? It's too far, but wait. Okay, now here it comes. Oh, yeah. Okay, now. Isn't that slick? I like that. Now, let's go back to where he was. And let's find the downbeat. Remember the mechanics of transcribing? you got to find your downbeat. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. That downbeat is an A flat, which makes sense because I'm on an F minor seven. And I know there is a pickup G. And then let's go from there. Curse you, Navbar. All right. Here we go. Oh, well, remember, the changes inform what we're doing. Well, that's your F minor 9. Uh oh, it's a 9. All right. But do, do, do. So from your downbeat, but do, do, do. Oh, it's a triplet. Okay, now I don't know about the rhythm on the next. All I did was get that little beat too there. Okay, let's go back. Battle down. It was an E natural. And that's two sounds on a beat. Okay. I know I got an F. Let's hear what's next. So the B flat, low B flat, oops, got a pen in my hands, wait. That low B flat is the upbeat, okay? Okay. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Alright, let's see what's next. Now, I may fast forward a bit through the mechanics, alright? So there's your triplet sixteenths. And this is which is triplets. And then 
which is your low C, which belongs in the A flat chord. So we have, oop, wait, my C's disappeared. Watch this. Hello, C. There you are. So here's what we have. <laughs> Okay, now let's get the articulations. Because remember, there's the mechanics, then there's the subtlety of it. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know about you. <laughs> You know you slur into a ghost. So let's listen to that again. <laughs> Too oh, curse you, Navbar! Okay. Oh, twice in a row. Oh, okay. Phil Woods would be better at the nav bar than me. Now here we go. Now I'm hearing a big on that B flat. Hmm? Next. That's what I'm hearing. Sorry, fast forwarded through, through that too. <clears throat> now, you'll want to be careful and go through and find all the articulations exactly the way you want. That is one of the most clever lines. And that's the thing about bebop. It's a very clever style. The phrasing, the phrasing is so amazing. Amazing phrasing. So here we go. One more time. This time you play it with me. One, two, one. Wait, let's do it slow. One, two, three. Faster. One, two, three. Up to speed. One, two, three. And that fun. This is the point of transcribing. This is the fun of transcribing. You find your favorite licks, and I'm a big fan of cherry picking. I know that whoever it is that made the Omni book is a jazz saint because they went through and they transcribed every single note for every single song. And oh, God bless them. But you know what? You don't have the time for that. I don't have the time for that. If you have the time for that, I'd like to talk to you about how you found the time for that. Because honestly, let's just cherry pick our favorites. And this is one of my favorites. So just to review, the fun of transcribing is find your favorite artist. Listen to their tune over and over a million times. Get a piece of blank paper. Get your chord symbols. Cherry pick your favorite lick. Transcribe it mechanically, basing it on the downbeats, using the chord symbols to inform, you know, the, uh, the arpeggios and uh, putting it onto the, the rhythmic grid underneath and then put your articulations on it and then play it slowly on your own and then with them a million times each. And, that, and then this lick will start to fill its way into your playing. And that's the fun of transcribing. Now, go transcribe the rest of Phil Wood's solo. Good luck!